Hi, everybody. Welcome. This is Precision Weather Service meteorologist Russ Murley. Here's our bi-monthly look at the long-range outlook as we look ahead to the end of summer, and it looks like the warm weather will continue. We're going to talk about uh, mild readings right through Labor Day, if not into all of September. So if you're a fan of the warmer than normal weather, it's been a warm summer. It's going to keep chugging along right into fall. It's going to stay dry, too, warm and dry. This pattern will continue into September, and we think maybe even large parts of October will run above normal as well. I love our fun fact for this one, the coldest August reading in New York State. I dug through the record books, and it was a very frosty 20 degrees up in the Adirondacks at Indian Lake way back in 1909. I'm assuming that was the very tail end of the month, but uh, it can cool off. The Adirondacks can get a frost in the uh, tailing days of August. We don't see any of that happening here because it's going to be a mild finish to August with above normal temperatures across the eastern third of the country. The cool weather will stay out in the plains, and that cool weather will start to drift eastward a little bit as we get into September, but this is the forecast for the opening seven days or so of September, the opening week, and you can see it's going to stay seasonably mild across much of the northeast. Parts of Pennsylvania and New York State may be close to normal, which means daytime highs in the uh, low to mid-70s and nighttime lows in the lower 50s. September outlook, the cool weather will stay out west. It's going to be seasonably mild here in the northeast, and we think that pattern will carry into October. So we're going with a warm fall. The warmth continues. We'll keep an eye on it and let you know when we think the cooler weather will start to get here with some regularity. For more information on Blue Rock Energy, get ready for winter. Surf on over to BlueRockEnergy.com and learn about energy savings programs and much, much more. And we'll be back here with an update in just a couple weeks.